people fallen rain here on another video on girls eggs battle too all right this is going to be an updated video about enrolling and exchanging all right um there was a couple of viewers who sent me comments about um doing a video on this i have done a video on exchanging before um but i thought let me just do a quick updated version with covering both of them basically long story short now here's the thing with exchanging firstly you got to make sure you click on the different tabs here. Sorry, not exchanging and rolling, excuse me, sorry. <laughs> Within rolling, you've got to make sure you click on the different tabs. Because it's very easy to kind of leave it here um, if, you know, you're just starting the game. And then use your seals and then you realise that, you know, you haven't clicked the right tab. So you've got to change the different tabs here to choose which girl or which, say, faction you want. Okay? That's the first thing. Now, once you've chosen the right faction... Let's say I want the undead. You use the button here where it says enroll on the bottom left screen. Now the way how it works is that the rates are small. They're not high. Okay. And they don't actually put out the... Actually no, they put out the rates here. Sorry. Yes. So let's say for undead. Where's... Oh, oh ghost category. Excuse me. I keep saying undead. Unghost. Ghost category. It says um, odds for enroll. Four star shards. Seven percent. Four star shot. Huh? Oh, ghost four star shards, sixty percent. Five star shards, twenty four percent. And ghost five star sh five star shards, nine percent. So these will show you all of the type of rates that you're going to get. Um, a lot of the time, you'll end up getting definitely four star shards, or sometimes yeah, the five stars is what I usually would get. You need to definitely enroll in a few times. To be lucky enough to get the ghost at um, five star, there are there have been moments though where you know where sometimes exclusive girls do come out of the um, the uh, different categories that you choose. So yeah, all you gotta do anyway is just press and roll, stamps it, and yeah, that's what I got. I might see if I do a couple actually. I might do a couple for you just to show you. Oh, look at that! <laughs> Well, there you go. <laughs> that I can't complain about. Got a Guiana straight off the back. How about that? <laughs> so yeah. Um, so yeah, if you're lucky enough, you know what I mean, you'll just get that. Within two stamps, I'm very happy with getting a Guiana. I'm starting slowly trying to start building. I ugh, can't even get my words out. I'm slowly starting to build up a, uh, a good Guiana, so can't complain about that. So that's how that works, basically. Yeah. All you gotta do is just select the category you want, and yeah, you'll be able to um, hopefully get yourself a really nice girl. Now, exchanging is a little bit different. Exchanging is when you choose a girl of either five star or is it four star? Or? Yeah, yeah, five star or four star, right? And all you got to do is literally just click on them and then press exchange. Long story short. So let's see. Let's say I'm going to swap an Iron Fist. Okay. There we go. So you just wait. Iron Fist is now. This means that Iron Fist is ready to be exchanged. Now, the question mark that it shows above, he above here is telling you that it's going to give you any girl of a five star uh five star monster category it could be any girl so you might just get a basic girl for example or if you're lucky you might get more of an elite girl i've had times where you know i've swapped a let me think here i've swapped a toyo or an iron fist maybe and i might have got like a two ring or one time i got a priestess and i was quite happy about that but um it all depends you know, and um, the question mark, the little question mark help section here will break it down for you as well. So let's read this. It says, use portfolios to exchange girls of the same faction as star rank. Portfolios means the thing right at the bottom here which shows 100, a uh, 100 portfolio exchange. So I've got 145 right now, so I can do one try with this currently. All right. You can reject the new girl and keep the original one, but use... Uh, but use portfolio won't be returned. All that means is is that when I press exchange, if the if the girl that's there is one I don't want, 
then I can just keep Iron Fist. I can press cancel, keep Iron Fist, but then I will lose the portfolios that I just used. Lock, uh, locked girls and girls in the Lee can't be exchanged. You can only exchange four and five star girls. Girls from the Angel and Demon factions can't be exchanged. Yeah, that's always been the case. You can get Angel and Demon girls in the enroll, but you can't exchange them. This is probably their little means of, you know, keeping their exclusive Angel and Demon girls from being exchanged too easily. You know, as they are the typically top of uh, 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 requirements in that sense. Uh, do bear with me, I've got a little bit of a croaky voice today and a little bit of a headache, but anyway, don't mind me. So, um, it says, when exchanging a five-star girl, there's a chance you will get a four-star girl with five-star rating. That's a really key one. So, for example, when I click this here, I might get a uh, diva. Let's say diva, right? Um, and diva will be a four-star girl but she will be at a five star rating. So it will be like a four star being upgraded into a five star. Sometimes you get those kind of girls too. You might not get a five star base girl. And when I say five star base, I mean a girl that usually is a bit more powerful. You see what I mean? So it, it does depend as well, that does vary. If you accept the exchange, everything, level, gear, crystals and antiques will be transferred to the new, to the new girl. Ah, I didn't actually, I didn't actually realize that. So if you're exchanging a girl, which is, let's say, like level 100, for example, then you're going to have another girl, which will be end up being level 100. I usually exchange them at level 1, because um, I don't usually build a girl that I'm going to exchange. But uh, that's cool. That's actually pretty cool. So you're able to then keep those same amounts of levels in the new girl, and you don't end up wasting your money and juice. So that's pretty cool. I like that. So yeah, without further ado, let's try the exchange. Let's see what I get. Sylvia is actually all right. I actually don't mind that. Um, Sylvia is not the greatest girl, um, but she definitely helps uh, at the beginning of the game. And she's a five-star base girl as well, which is pretty cool. So I don't mind that. I'm actually building Sylvia right now. Um, so I'm happy to exchange that and keep that there. All right. So, uh, as you can see here, I've got a Sylvia at 6 star. So, I need some copies of her because I'm actually going to build her to 10 star. So, then I can um, get one of my other girls to get to Limit Break 3. Especially Turin. I really need my Turin on Limit Break 3. So, um, I'm really looking forward to that. I'm being so patient with that. Trust me. So, um, I'm going to go to the shopping street, right? Um, I'm actually going to buy some more... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, portfolio portfolios so when you come here you can spend 600 uh, diamonds to get 200 portfolios sometimes I buy this I don't always but I don't mind buying it um, for the sake of the video so let's do a couple more exchanges so that gave me 200 so now I'm able to do um, two more five star exchanges but I'm also going to show you the four star one as well so let's say I go into the humans uh, let's say I pick Hippantia or Hippatia. So, what's going to happen here now is that it's going to exchange a four-star girl for me. Now, this could be any four-star girl in the human faction. The good thing about this one is that it only costs 20 portfolio, um, portfolios. Now, this is really cool because when you look at, uh, let me show you here, the exclusive task, right? I've already done all these, well, apart from the Angel and Demons one. I've already done all of the rest of them, right? But here's the thing. In this uh, exclusive task, you will need to have a very specific girl of a particular type. So let's say in the human faction, you might need to have a human faction girl that's a mage, right? So if you need a human, if you need a four-star human girl for the requirement which is a mage then what you can do is come on here and exchange the girl that you're after until you get uh the mage girl so you know let's say for example it's lily i think is lily a mage i think she's a mage i can't even click it right now oh. okay no, i can't even click it like that but anyway so if you needed a girl right that is a particular type okay 
whether it's a mage or a ranger, whatever, right? You can come in here, you can click a girl that you don't need, and then you can keep trying to exchange until you get the right girl you want. So, uh, let's say, for example, let me just see, I'm going to use a human girl. Let's say I want another Lily. I'm just going to say, let's say, oh, I want a Lily. So, I'm going to use a Nagia, and I'm going to try and get another Lily, you know? So, let's let's try that now. Cool, so I got a Haxi instead. So, I don't want a Haxi, so what I do is I press cancel, you see? And then now, I can then do it again until uh, I get the right girl I want. So, this time, I've got a Mia. Mia is a mage, right? This is what I want to show you. So, I wanted a human four-star girl that was a mage. I mean, when I, and I want to say the type, I meant the job. That's that's the correct term, the job. So, the job of the girl could be specific in the um, exclusive task uh, event. So, if you need a human girl that is, a, that is the job of a mage, Mia will be the one you want. So, I can say, all right, cool. I've got Nagia here and I've got Mia here. So I'm going to press save. Boom. I've now got Mia. So that's how that works. All right. You can keep doing that until you get the right girl that you want. Yeah. So I'm going to do a couple more exchanges. I'm going to try and... Which one do I need the most? Let me think here. Probably... Because I've got a couple of human girls at the moment. Katsu Gun and Ifo. I've been usually trying to build up them. Because at the moment, I've got... I've got one Ifo and I've got one Capsu girl. So yeah, I really want to start trying to build um, the copies up of them too. I need one more copy for Capsu girl. And I need two more copies for Ifo. So yeah, I'm going to probably go for an exchange uh, on uh, humans. So let's try and use a Lily, for example. Five star exchange. Caitlyn's not too bad as well. Because what the, th the thing is, right, is that Lily is a four star girl that was promoted to five star. So if I get a five star girl that's a five star base, I'm happy with that, to be honest. I'm fine with that. You know, not a problem. So right now, I've got Hottie, Sonia, and... Oh, sorry about that. There's a <laughs> there's a helicopter going over my uh, my house. Don't know if you heard that, but anyway. <laughs> so um, basically, if you've got, I can use now Caitlyn or Hottie. I don't want to use Sonia. I don't. I definitely don't want to use Sonia. Um, but I might use. Do I need a Caitlyn? I might want to build up more Hottie. So I'm going to try use that same Caitlyn, and I'm going to see if I can exchange it for something better. If I don't get something better, I'll show you how it works if I don't. But if I do, no. So this is what I don't want. So Nagia, as you saw before, was a four-star girl. So what has happened here is that when you've done the exchange, it's given me a five-star Nagia, right? Now, unless you really need her, she is not better than Caitlyn. You see what I mean? Um, I think she does healing or something like that. Does she heal? No, she's got like, some sort of uh, each target reduced. Yeah, so Caitlyn's definitely better than Nagia. So I don't want Nagia, so I'm gonna press cancel and I keep Caitlyn. You see what I mean? So um, yeah, I hope that's uh, I hope that kind of clears that up for you and um, how both enrolling and exchanging works. So yeah, give it a little try. Um, you can buy if you're wondering where you can get the requirements from. Enroll. You can go to the shopping street market and you can buy a seal here for 500 diamonds on the bottom of the screen. You saw me buy the portfolios already, so you can get portfolio portfolios there. Um, what else? Where else can you get it from? You can get it from the Elite League. Is it Elite League? No. Hold on. Which one is it? No, Varsity. Where's Varsity? Yeah. So here. So when you go into the Varsity shop, you can buy either a seal. For 200 um, elite, uh, league coins, I think they're called. Is it league coins? Yeah, league coins. Or you can you can swipe along and you can buy the por uh, por for portfolio. Uh, portfolio. <laughs> Saying that wrong. Or portfolio. I usually think it's portfolio, but anyway. Um, so yeah, you can buy the portfolio things here for 20 league coins or buy the till. So you can get either of them there. Yeah. 
Also, for seals, you can go into the battle, go to patrol, and if you look in senior here, is it senior? No. Medium. Yep, see, you scroll down and you can buy some um, seals here as well. So I hope that kind of, you know, helps out with that as well. Check out my beginner's tips videos as well to kind of get some rough idea of where you can get all the items from and stuff like that. Um, yeah, and I hope that was informative for you. So like and subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll try my best to um, respond to them as well. Until then, you take care.